I cheated on my girlfriend with her best friend. Welcome to r slash cheating underscore stories, where anonymous people of Reddit share why they cheated. I cheated on my boyfriend within our friend circle and my best friend ended our friendship because of it. We're all in our late 20s and early 30s. First I met my best friend and the guy I did the cheating with. We all worked together in the same place and stayed friends for the past 4 years. Both of them were in very committed relationships back then, and somewhere along the line I met and fell in love with my boyfriend. She got with her new boyfriend and the other guy separated from his wife. My boyfriend and I have been together for 2 years, had our ups and downs, but were essentially in a great place at the time being, honeymoon phase in love and quite happy. Or at least that's what I thought. I've been in a deep depression for many years. In and out of therapy, jobs and meaningless non-relationships. Suddenly I met my boyfriend and decided that I wanted to be better. He is the first man that I've ever had a serious relationship and learned with to maintain a healthy and enjoyable sex life. He didn't ask other than being with me and saw me go through the lowest parts of my supposed recovery with such patience that is beyond my comprehension. Of course he's no saint and we've had our qualms, but I know he always meant and did well by me when confronted. In two years I went from a sorry ass mess to an increasingly functional adult. Went through absolute hell in the process and fucked up one first time. It was when he and I were drifting apart earlier this year. In a nutshell he was very preoccupied with work and other more serious things and was shutting me out, barely seeing each other or even talking. Without trying to justify what happened then, I'll just say that this other guy gave me the zoom attention I was craving, but, surprise surprise, it only gave me a terrible and crap feeling that made me swear to never ever do it again. Now I feel I have to provide context to how this dude and I grew closer and why it came to be so complicated. He lives in the same house as my ex, best friend, her boyfriend and her two kids from other marriages, one of them in her teens. It's a sort of commune arrangement they have between them and seems to have worked out well for the most part, except when drama comes its way, which is not rare, because there's a lot of alcohol, drugs and mental disorders at play. In this case, it was my drama. As I said, I was hurt slash sad slash in a very destructive mental space when the first transgression happened. It was early into the pandemic, we were all binging on many substances and spending just too much time together in isolation. I told her immediately in hopes she would comfort me and help me figure out what to do next, since I did it for her before more than once in similar situations. Aka cheating. She kinda did at first, advised me to never tell my bf what happened and I agreed. Water under the bridge, I thought. Turned out she was extra upset both with me and the other guy ghosted me for weeks and assumed there was an affair going on under her nose the whole time. Said she didn't want to be in the middle of that kind of secret which put everything, the friendship, in jeopardy. Personally at the moment, and knowing her as I did, felt like it was quite a big assumption that there had been foul play other than that one time, and also that with the same discretion and comprehension I always showed to her, there simply was no need for her to be so judgmental. Here I want to clarify that I know the moral implications of all these decisions and how my boyfriend never deserved anything that I did. I believe nevertheless that working on myself and our relationship, as we eventually did, would be for the better since there was so much love at play. So I don't feel justified, but I really got to forgive myself for that first time and swore that I would never tell and never do it again, as I already said. It was hard, it was a very lonely task and all the guilt I felt I carried it till it wasn't there anymore. I stayed away from the group for a while, stopped binging and they did too. Got back on my writing, we are all in new exciting projects that are actually interesting, and I was literally at the most in love with my boyfriend and life itself. And then that night it happened again. I got so drunk I was falling, mumbling and I have only flashing recollections of how it ended like that. This time it was self-evident to everyone in the house, best friend, best friend's bf and eldest daughter, since I slept in his room so there was no hiding. And I think there really is no hiding. My boyfriend doesn't know or suspect, I'm sure. The secret would remain with them without a doubt. But to keep it down like last time will take so much more from me that I don't know if I can do it. 
And then there's the fact that the friendship is pretty much broken, maybe beyond repair. She made the other guy get rid of me that morning, refused to talk to me till yesterday and now we are exchanging texts of biblical length. It's quite possible that she will evict the guy at this point. It's all pretty horrible, and I can't believe I caused all of this in a single night. I know I broke my own heart, and other hearts have, and could be broken too. I'm so blinded by anger and shame with myself, that I can't even begin to fathom the next step. Thinking about telling him, and scar him like that, maybe forever, independently that we stay together or not, makes me physically hurt. I fear that all that growth I thought I had, was nothing but a lie. More than anything I fear I already lost him. I cheated on my GF with her best friend. Feel like a monster. Just made this throwaway account for this. It happened only once months ago, but I don't think I can forgive myself. I was really drunk, but I know that's not an excuse. Deep down I know, wouldn't be able to resist, even though I love my girlfriend with all my heart. I remember it every single day ugh. I hate myself, and I also hate that girl for acting like such a good friend, and being so fake, but I'm also guilty, so I can't even say anything, and now I live in fear that someday she'll tell something to my gf or even blackmail me. Am I a monster, or should I try to forgive myself, and act like nothing happened forever? La <laughs> February I took part in a one night stand with a woman who I've previously never met. At the time I was only seeing my gf two times a month at most due to her being in university and I guess I thought I needed something to satisfy myself. I went over to the ons, one night stand, women's house and did the deed. I drove home the next day day and refused to look at myself in the mirror it's nearly been an entire year and I'm going insane. I've always known cheating is an absolutely horrible and disgusting act and I honestly don't know why I did it. I haven't looked at myself the same since I've been abusing drugs and alcohol to help ease my mind, but nothing's working it's like a thousand people whispering in my ears telling me how terrible of a person I am and I completely agree with them. I've recently put myself in therapy to try to kick the drinking and drug use habit but all my therapist cares about is the check my insurance sends her I don't know what to do at this point I'm void of all emotion and don't know how to continue I love my girlfriend to death but I can't even look her in the eyes without tearing up I just posted this here to see if anyone has had similar experiences and what to do in the future. I cheated on my husband while we were engaged we were in college. The last semester we were sharing an apartment with three other guys. I ended up cheating on him with all three guys. This went on over a period of 5 months and ended this past May. We got married in July. We are still friends with these three guys and my husband has no clue that I was having sex with them earlier this year. Two weeks ago these three guys approached me about wanting to start up having sex with me again. I don't really know what to do at this point. The guys feel that, because we were able to get away with it earlier this year then we could get away with it now as well. My husband currently is working a 6pm to 6am shift 4 nights a week so having the time to do it isn't an issue. I, 28 meters, cheated on my longtime girlfriend, 30f, with my best friend, 29f, and hurt a lot of people in the process. So I grew up being really close to Charlie. Charlie is obviously not her real name, but it was a short masculine name that was a shortened form of much longer really jolly name. Charlie and I always hung out, and I was one of the first person she came out to as B. One of Charlie's parents was super religious so this was really big news, and I kept it a secret for her for a very long time. After school, I wanted to move to a larger city for work. Charlie, who got a job much earlier than me, hooked me up, and we roomed together. We eventually went our separate ways, but we still remained very close. Charlie was always the more mature and more outgoing of us and everyone acknowledged that I was her sidekick in school. Charlie later introduced me to Rachel at a social event, again not a real name. Charlie and Rachel were friends and were both working at the same firm. Charlie essentially pressured me to ask Rachel out. Rachel and I were in a relationship for a very long time. We were both in the same social circles, along with Charlie, and everyone joked that we'd be the first to get married. The reality was far from the truth. Rachel had been in multiple relationships before me, while I was very inexperienced romantically. 
In other words, I was not a very good partner by any stretch of the words. Honestly looking back, Rachel was far too patient with me and honestly should have dumped me long before. She wanted someone mature while I essentially needed an older sister slash carer. Rachel patience began to run thin. We had already moved in together and if we had a big fight, we'd spend the night on someone else's couch. For me it was usually Charlie's. One of the worst ones was where she revealed to me that Charlie had a thing for her before we got together and that I needed to stop calling for Charlie whenever I needed help and that I should stop scavenging her scraps. I spent that night on Charlie's couch, which I guess reveals a lot about me. Rachel would also occasionally spend the night at Charlie's too. Rachel and I slowly spent more time apart, but for some reason we just couldn't say the words and we'd get back together within a day. A mutual friend in the group once texted me at work that he'd seen Charlie and Rachel holding hands and kissing at a cafe during their lunch and that he took pictures. I texted Charlie if we could hang out that day and I showed her the pictures. Charlie broke down in tears and told me the truth. As the relationship became more and more strained and as work got more and more stressful, probably not made easy by me, she and Rachel started seeing each other again. Rachel actually considered many times leaving me for her, but Charlie always shot it down. Her crying really hurt me, since Charlie was always the stronger one in our duo. She cried I'm sorry baby. I'm really sorry. She kissed me, and we made love for the first time. I started being absent from the apartment for days at a time, to spend more time with Charlie. Charlie begged me to tell Rachel and I would promise I would. I never did. Eventually others in our friend group figured it out and stepped in. They were absolutely disgusted by me and Charlie, but especially me, and I don't blame them. Charlie and I were getting more and more blasen and open about our relationship, and it was only a matter of time before someone found out. Charlie also found out she was pregnant, and we both agreed to get engaged. By this time most of our friends were not in regular contact because of how disgusted they were of us. Honestly the kindest person in the group was Rachel, who we both hurt the most. She and I mostly made up, but she did admit that she will never completely forgive me for what I did to her. The wedding was small and other than Rachel, almost none of our mutual friends came. We have since moved to another city, where we keep silent about the story of our marriage. Almost none of our mutual friends talk to us anymore. I feel incredibly guilty about what happened I still bang my head about what I could have done differently. Me and Charlie have had a fine and stable marriage for a few years now. It's just that I still feel incredibly guilty over what happened and that my entire marriage is built around a secret and a lie. We both learned a lot of what not to do from that incident and we have an open and honest relationship, but this is the one thing we never talk about. None of our new friends know about it. Once a friend commented that me and Charlie seem to have the perfect marriage and relationship. That just killed me, and I secretly locked myself in the shower and just cried. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it please consider subscribing. Have an amazing day.